Yo, what's poppin' everybody? This is another podcast with Hotties P. If you enjoy this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I thank you in advance. This time I'm going to talk about whether or not the New York Knicks should trade R.J. Barrett. Basically, I was never the type that preferred talking and analyzing and discussing about rumors. But in this case, I'm going to make an exception to that rule because... This is a really, really crucial issue for the New York Knicks. From what I found out, 80% of the New York Knicks fans want to keep R.J. Barrett, and the rest don't. So anyway, let's just check out some pros and cons. R.J. Barrett is a great player, okay, for his age. He's only 20, and he's improving rapidly. I actually believe that he can become an all-star in the future and be the next Paul George, for example. He's also on a rookie contract, which is great for the team's uh, salary cap. And, of course, the fans love him. I mean, they bought his jersey like hell. But this is not a reason to want to keep a player in the team, you know what I'm saying? Because you love the New York Knicks. You don't love players, okay? Players come and go. This is what I have learned by living in Europe for many, many years. And it's a fact. I mean, you just got to support your team and support what's best for your team. Because it's funny how a lot of Knicks fans have told me that they don't want RJ to leave the team because they bought his jersey. I mean, come on, so what? (laughs) Jerseys are jerseys. It's like you have it as a souvenir, and that's it. And personally, if you'd ask me, I would want to keep R.J. Barrett in the New York Knicks if if he was an American, a fellow American like myself. Yes, we are the land of opportunity, and yes, we're open-minded for everybody, but he's not American-born. I want to support my guys. I love my country. I love my guys. So, yeah, if he were an American youngster, Like, uh, for example, Zion uh, Williamson, who's uh, basically R.J. Barrett's best friend. Like, yeah, I would want to keep him in the team even more. But still, you got to put the team above everything. Plus, we have a coach, uh, Tom Thibodeau, that is in his mid-60s. I think he's 63, going on 64, something like that. I mean, come on, you don't want to wait forever to get a title. If you trade him, you might get a superstar. A superstar that can take you high and make you become a title contender in the Eastern Conference. Like, for example, Dame, my boy, Damian Lillard. He's amazing. Even though he's 30, going on 31, you need experience. And, of course, you need a point guard that can do things like Chris Paul, for example, the Phoenix Suns. I think that Tom Thibodeau's contract is for another three years, from what I can recall. Yeah, so, okay. You got, you got to do this. You got to achieve things. You got to move forward. Because we haven't gotten a, ch- a title, a championship, for almost 50 years Come on, 50 years? I think it was 1973, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I think it all depends on what you can get through a trade. If it's worth it, go for it. If not, you just keep RJ and focus on other positions. Because you need a point guard. You need a small forward. You know what I'm saying? And you also need a center. You need a bigger center. Come on, I mean... Yes, Nerlens Noel is amazing, but he's a backup center, and he's not big enough to deal with other centers like Clint Capella, for example. So that's all I had to say about this uh, issue. Of course, there are a lot of pros and cons. If you all want to comment, feel free. We all want what's best for our team, for the New York Knicks, no matter what. So all we got to do is just wait it out and see what Leon Rose is going to do.
along with Tom Thibodeau and the uh, World Wide West. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Peace.